the princess, the queen, and the wise woman. They're at the core of my work. They're all over my book, The Sovereignty Knot, and they're at the heart of all the work I do with heroines. And I will admit to you, there are days when I am wondering what the hell I think I'm doing. If the princess is out there having a blast and going on adventures, there's days when I just feel like a miserable stuck at home. Blech. If the queen is the one who gets it done and who is the best boss in the whole wide world, I feel like a hot mess that's just dropped everything on the floor. And the wise woman, the one who has perspective and who knows when it's time for sacred laughter and when it's time for sacred stillness, and I just find myself making all the wrong noises at all the wrong times. <laughs> there are a lot of moments when I wonder who the hell I think I am. And yet we're all in that space at various points all throughout our lives, just like we are always princess, queen, and wise woman. And so there are moments when it just takes some courage and just stepping up and saying, no, I know how to stand in my own sovereign heroine self. And there's times to admit, I'm not sure. But I've been offering a retreat on the last Wednesday of December for four years now. And I know that it's good for all of us to sit and to pause, to be with ourselves in the year that was, to look at who we are right now and to imagine our way into the year to come and doing that together with other women dedicated to these ideas of knowing themselves and all their aspects, all of their wildness, all of their brilliance, all of their creativity, all of their silent, still spiritual selves all combined together in one fabulous, intricate knot. Yeah, that I know I'm good at and that I would love to have you with me for. It's called The Heroine's Way. It's going to be on December 28th, noon Eastern, on Zoom. So you can join us from wherever you are. The time zone works for quite a lot of us. And I'd love to have you there. It's an opportunity, like I said, to get still, to get clear, to get connected. We're not going to be creating spreadsheets. This is not a time for resolutions. But it just might be a time to make a vow to yourself for what energy and magic creativity and possibility you want to bring in to your 2023. All of your mess, all of your glory, all of your uncertainty, and all of that wisdom you know in your bones. I'll see you there.